Let us now take a trip to the jungle. Please be calm so that we would not disturb the animals there. Shh, shh. There is a lion. Do you remember the story of the lion and the mouse? One hot afternoon, the lion was fast asleep. A little mouse ran over the lion and disturbed his sleep. The lion woke up and caught the mouse. The lion roared. Why do you run over me? I will kill you. The mouse cried and told, Sorry king, I did not see you sleeping. Please let me go. I will help you one day for sure. The king asked, How can you, a little creature, help me? But felt pity and let the mouse free. After a few days, the lion was caught in a hunter's net and it tried hard to save itself but failed. Then it started to cry aloud. Help! Help! The mouse heard this and came to the lion and cut the net with its teeth. The lion realized that even a little mouse can be of help to a mighty lion. Hip hop slowly, there is a hare behind the bush. Do you remember what happened to the hare the other day when it challenged the tortoise? One day, a hare was playing in the forest. When he saw a tortoise plodding on, he laughed at the tortoise and challenged for a race. The tortoise agreed and they started off the race. The hare ran very fast. When he was halfway, he knew that the tortoise would be far behind. He decided to take rest for some time. But the hare soon fell asleep. The tortoise came plodding and crossed the sleeping hare and won the race. The hare woke up hearing other animals cheering the tortoise. The hare felt very sad. It's really fun to hear the story of the two silly goats. There was a river and a narrow bridge to cross the river. One day, two silly goats were on either side of the river. Both of them wanted to cross the river at the same time and started to walk on the bridge. When they reached the middle of the river, they could not cross each other and started to fight. One of them said, You give way, I reached first. The other said, You go back, I started crossing the bridge first. They locked horns with each other and both of them fell into the river. Hey, look! How the monkeys are jumping and playing. They mostly imitate what they see around them. Just remember the story of the cap seller. One evening, a cap seller was coming back home after selling caps. He had a few more caps left. He sat under a tree to rest and soon fell asleep. He did not notice that there were monkeys on the top of the tree. The monkeys came down and picked the caps and went up the tree. The cap seller woke up and to his horror did not find his caps. He looked around and saw the monkeys with his caps. He threw his cap to the ground. The monkeys also threw the caps. Soon the cap seller picked his caps and went home.
Sometimes the monkeys are clever too. We know what happened to the two cats with a piece of cake. There were two little cats. They were friends. Once they got a piece of cake. They quarrelled about how to share the cake. The monkey saw this and decided to eat the cake. The monkey went to the cats and asked them, "What is the problem?" The cats told, "There is only one piece of cake, and we are two." The monkey told, "I will share it for you," and bit a piece. "Yummy! It tastes very good." The cats said, "But there is still only one piece." Then the monkey took another bite and repeated the same and finished the cake. Now the cats knew that monkey fooled them and told sadly, "Why did we fight? We should have shared it ourselves." We are almost out of the jungle. Look, there are crows. They are clever. Do you know what a crow did when it was thirsty? Once a crow was returning home. On the way, he felt very thirsty. He looked to the ground for some source of water. At last he saw a pot. He flew down and looked in the pot. There was little water at the bottom of the pot. He thought of some means to drink the water. He then saw some stones nearby. He picked them one by one and dropped it into the pot. As he dropped the stones the water came up when it reached the top the crow drank the water happily and flew away There is a farm nearby Shall we go over there and have some fun It really looks green and beautiful There are also cows, rabbits, sheep, and many other animals and birds on the farm. This is the dog that guards the farmhouse. He is very loyal. There are greedy dogs also. Do you remember what happened to the greedy dog? One day, a greedy dog got a large bow. He went away with it. On the way, he had to cross a river. When he looked down, he saw his reflection and thought that there was another dog with a bone in the river. So he opened his mouth to grab that bone. As soon as he opened his mouth, his bone fell into the river. Alas, he lost his bone and had nothing to eat. Look at the rabbits. They are really very cute. They are also clever. Do you know the story of how the rabbit saved other animals from the lion? The lion, the king of the forest, one day ordered the animals. One of them have to come as a meal for him each day. Then he would spare the other animals. The poor animals agreed to this. One day, it was the rabbit's turn. On his way to the lion's den, the rabbit thought of a plan to save himself and the other animals he was late when he reached the lion he told the lion your lordship on my way i was stopped by another lion he told me he was the king of the forest he told me he wants to meet you so do i said the lion the rabbit took the lion to the well and told that the other lion was inside the well the lion looked into the well 
and saw its reflection and angrily jumped into the well and drowned himself. Now we will go near the pigeons. They are friendly. We all know the story of how the pigeon and the ant helped each other. An ant was walking by the riverside. When it tried to drink water from the river, it slipped into the river and was drowning. It cried for help. When a pigeon saw this, it got a leaf and dropped it for the ant. The ant climbed onto the leaf and sailed to the shore. After some time, the pigeon was taking rest on a tree. The ant was walking slowly. The ant saw a hunter aim at the pigeon. The ant ran to the hunter and bit him on the leg. The hunter lost his aim and the pigeon flew away. This is old Ramu uncle who takes care of the farmhouse. He is very honest and helpful. We also have to be very honest. Honesty is rewarded. We know how the honest woodcutter was rewarded. Once upon a time, an honest woodcutter was cutting wood at a riverside. His axe slipped and fell into the river. He felt very sad. Then, a fairy appeared and asked what happened. The fairy told that she will help and went into the river and brought out a golden axe and gave it to him. Seeing the golden axe, he said, That is not my axe. Then the fairy went inside the river once again and brought out a silver axe this time. The woodcutter told, That is not my axe. Finally, the fairy brought out his axe. Seeing it, the woodcutter was very happy and told, Yes, this is my axe. Thank you. The fairy was surprised at his honesty and gave all the three axes to the woodcutter. There is a small lake. Look, there are ducks and some stalks. Shall we hear the story of the fox and the stalk? Once a fox and a stork met in the forest. The naughty fox decided to trick the stork. The fox invited the stork to his home. When the stork reached the home of the fox, he welcomed her in and served her soup in a flat plate. The stork with her long beak could not drink the soup. But the fox drank his share. The stork felt sad. She also invited him to her home. Now, the stork served food in a jug with a long narrow neck. The fox could not eat the food. He watched her eat. The fox realized his mistake. We can sit under the shade of this tree. Trees are very useful to us. We must grow them near our home and school. It is very pleasant. We have lots of trees around us. Do you know the story of the travellers and the tree? There were two travellers. They were walking on a hot summer noon. When they reached a tree, they sat in its shade. It had no fruits. One of them said, This tree is useless. It does not bear any fruits. And it is of no use to man. Hearing this, the tree said, You come and take shelter under me from the sun and call me good for nothing? Isn't it unfair? The two men then realized their mistake. 